Yeah, I really, I really thought the uh, the nuclear, <clears throat> the interview that was pretty awesome. That's a oh, you saw it, yeah. That's a perspective that we don't see pretty, you know, pretty frequently. So. <clears throat> yeah, and a lot of people actually got angry with me because they're like, "That's bullshit." Oh, really? He's lying. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, and like a couple of people really took it to heart and started like posting a ton of stuff like nuclear is like the devil and this yeah. and that and i'm like jesus get alive i mean <laughs> right see my my whole thing is if if it can't survive without government subsidies then then um bye bye it's not destined to to live right but but if it can that's that's a, that's that, that's my whole thing so so i don't know if you asked him that question like like how much do, do they get any tax breaks or any kind of government incentives or anything like that as far as nuclear goes, they don't really get anything. The only wonderful thing from government that they recently were given is um, deregulation. Deregulation, okay. Yeah. Nice. So that uh, creates more competition, prices are cheaper, and there's more um, companies like intermediary companies between the, the ones that generate and your house, you know, people that basically sell you yeah. um, the electricity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's awesome. Like, I've heard some people pay like six or seven cents per kilowatt hour. That's crazy cheap. Oh, like, mean, I pay oh, twice as much as that here. Oh, you mean the, the customer? Yeah, yeah, like houses and, I mean, for businesses, it's a little more expensive. Uh-huh. But um, it's super cheap. And because of the deregulation, actually, uh, some, um, like, gas was able to compete and make the other ones cheaper. And uh, eventually, it's going to basically uh, transition to become nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning like coal plants are going to go away soon mm -hmm. because they're just not, they're too expensive mm -hmm. to operate and make and all that. I mean, they have to get all the, you know, they have a great model here in Texas. I cannot speak for the ones in the North because like, you know, they've said that they have some horrible things going on. But here, um, what they do is they lease the land or buy it. Mm -hmm. And once they're done digging everything, the contract of the lease says that they uh, they will get they will give the land back better than they found it. Mm -hmm. So they they hire a bunch of nerdy green people to come <laughs> and actually um, re fill the holes they made and make the the ground rich and yeah. they make trees and they like they beautify it. They, yeah. So it was like. Uh, desert, and then they take the minerals out, and then they make it all beautiful. So, I mean, it's a win-win for everyone, mm -hmm. but that's getting too expensive. Mm -hmm. So, um, for the, I mean, they can't afford it, but like, because gas, natural gas is getting pretty cheap, yeah. and, you know, these guys are unable to compete at some point, and, and freaking uh, nuclear power is the cheapest and most reliable. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why they're they are basically the ones that are keeping everything afloat. But the owners of all, the, like um, the coal plants and mm -hmm. the uh, nuclear, they're actually going bankrupt because they're losing money on the other ones. The only thing that's keeping them alive is basically the nuclear. So it mm -hmm. does make money and it is cheap and everybody, I mean, it's relatively safe. Like one person was saying, I need 100% assurance that it's going to be a safe source of energy. I'm like, seriously, you can, like, choke on breakfast. If you need 100% reassurance, <laughs> just don't freaking eat breakfast. Yeah, right. I mean, you cannot have 100% assurance on anything. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you, you know, this is, this is a major thing that, that my mother has a problem with. She can't let go of, you know, the fact that, um, you know, she's like, you know, the oil companies receive these huge, um, you know, subsidies and, uh, and support from the government. And so that, that's why the government needs to subsidize, you know, um, solar, solar, um, you know, panel companies and, hey, Mark, it's okay, okay. And air, you know, uh, what do you call that, the, wi the windmills? Yeah. Air, yeah, um, and then, 
And she's like, you know, because we have solar panels on, like we live in my parents' house, right? And they have solar panels. And she's like, the only reason I was able to get solar panels is because of the the tax breaks that that State of New York gave us to make it cheaper, right? And so, yeah. you know, she's like, isn't that wonderful? You know, the government is supporting these alternative energy sources. And, and you know, I'm telling her, like, if it's such a good if it's such a good business model and if it's such a good product, they don't need government support to make it cheaper. Like they could make it more efficient and beat out their competitors without government, you know, <laughs> support. Yeah, I mean, I am all in favor of solar panels. They're just not to the point where we can ditch everything else and just rely on them. Yeah, yeah. My whole thing is if if it you know if it, if it requires stolen funds to prop up, then then it's just not it's not you know worth worthy of surviving in the business world yeah and at this point you know i saw an interview i like stossel do you yeah. like stossel yeah yeah i, follow, I, follow I, a lot of I love that man so much so he had one of the uh evil cock brothers representatives like it was not charles cock or the other guy yeah it was the woman that represents the oil field uh-huh. and she was saying oh he asked so what about the uh tax breaks and like uh, um subsidize that you guys get and she says i wish we didn't i wish we didn't get that money but we are uh by law required to take that money and because we do that we are unable to basically do other wonderful things because that money bounds us Mm -hmm. to an outcome so Mm -hmm. when government gives you money they want some specific outcome so she said i cannot really like um, start doing research in other fields because these guys don't allow me to do that. So, I mean, even then, you know, like if you talk about subsidizing oil, yeah. they don't want it, but like if they don't take it, they go to jail. Wow, really? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to try to find that interview and send it to you. Yeah. Because it's like absolutely crazy. Um, hold on, I'm going to power my phone real quick. Yeah. Um, so that's basically what she was saying. Hmm. they tie you up with that kind of money and so they're evil and whatever but i mean nothing compares to fossil fuels in fact Mm -hmm. because of them we like you guys are in new york Mm -hmm. one of the bigger cities at the time it was like basically drowning in horse shit (laughs) because of all the horses and thanks to fossil fuels people were actually able to live yeah 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 yeah. i remember uh yeah yeah i did hear about that like um like I think before, before people started using cars, like in, um, you know, in in, in uh, mass uh, use, um, yeah, they they were projecting, you know, how by by the by the uh, the levels of uh, of horse waste that was being, <laughs> you know, put on the ground, where would we be in like twenty years or thirty years? <laughs> Seriously, and yeah, exactly. So you know, one thing is we can just like forget old technology and screw everything else and just go back to freaking cave people <laughs> you know then we will be super clean we would have the ex- you know like you know, extremely green environment everything will be luscious and gorgeous and no yeah. cement no concrete yeah. but then again it will be you know going back to not having day solve not having leisure time not having the technology and the ability to do so much like yeah. we would really kind of die yeah, there would, no, be ma- like, there would be mass die-off and mass starvation. You can't support a population of, what, eight, almost 8 billion people on that, <laughs> you know, without No, technology. we cannot. No, so, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's it's a very interesting topic, yeah. And, and the other thing I was telling my mother is, are you saying that in order for solar, solar energy and wind energy to thrive, we need to steal more from people? Like, you know, when you subsidize an industry, it's like, it's like more taxes for the individual person, right? So... <laughs> Are you seriously saying we need to steal more? Like that's how we deal with subsidies in one area. We we introduce more taxes and more subsidies in another area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I don't know that... I mean, it's really hard when it's a relative because you don't want to necessarily hurt the relationship, but at the same time, you know, it's like, really... You know, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what my, are you saying? I got, I got. Let me, let me tell you one more thing before I leave you. Um, I, I, uh, I recently went to a farmers market over here, and and this is very interesting. And I, um, and I, I realized that the guy, so the guy I was buying my hummus from, right, last year 
he was just selling hummus, right? This year yeah. he was selling hummus and a hot falafel sandwich. I'm oh like, my gosh, I love those. Yeah, it was delicious, and I bought it. And, and I'm like, wait a minute, why weren't you selling this last year? He's like, oh, last year, because it was in a farmer's market, right? So last year, the Chamber of Commerce said that we can't sell hot food because it's going to compete and steal business from the the local businesses in the town. <laughs> you have to be kidding. The establishment. Yeah, and I'm like, that's what, that's what you think. Wait, I'm like, so wait a minute. It's better for the consumer to have less options and less, you know, variety. Like, <laughs> how does that benefit people? Because the consumer in the end is going to, is the one that's going to be paying everybody. So, you know, if you have more options, that's going to attract more customers, more consumers. Everybody's going to benefit, right? Yeah. And, and he's like, I know. It's weird. It doesn't make sense. And so I, I told this to my mother and she's like, you know what? I kind of understand the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> no, defending the undefendable. Can you imagine that? <clears throat> so, I mean, yeah, I can say, I can make a case for that. Uh, how are you, ma'am? Uh, you know, like, you, yes, that's all I have. Thank you. Like saying, yeah, those guys, you know, are working really hard, but it's kind of like too big to fail kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So we go back to the Fanny Mac and... and yeah. Um, so uh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's like, a, you know, so I, I kind of learned in this process that the Chamber of Commerce is like... Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, like, it's like a local protection racket on a small scale, right? Yeah, they're like your local chapter of uh, thugs and gang <laughs> members that keep you safe for a small fee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was really surprised. I couldn't believe it. Uh, it's like legalized gangerism or like, you know, yeah. gangsterism. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And my and my mother's, you know, so she's defending the local businesses. She's like, well, if people go to the town and they want to go to a, a nice Thai restaurant, <clears throat> and then they see that a vendor is selling a cheap sandwich, they would go to the cheap sandwich, and then they wouldn't go to the Thai restaurant. And I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm like, wait a minute. So if an established, <clears throat> high quality restaurant, which has appetizer, entree, and dessert, is threatened by a little vendor with his hot falafel sandwich. What does that say about the Thai restaurant's food and how the, how good they consider their food to be? <laughs> if they, Seriously. If they feel threatened by a little hot falafel sandwich. I mean, if somebody doesn't have enough money to go to the Thai place, they're going to bring sandwiches packed in their coolers anyways. Yeah, right? <laughs> so it's not like they're losing any money. It was so funny, I mean, though. there's always ways around that. And I... I if somebody wants to buy a little cheaper, I mean, I love apple sets, so that would be that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, 